guys crease my owner's manual. Hey what's up everyone, this video is mainly to showcase my new Silverback SRS A2. It's a left handed 16 inch covert. I'm not a huge fan of the actual unboxing. Opening that lid and removing the factory plastic is something you should experience for yourself. But if you really want to know what all comes in the box, here's what you get. Your brand new Silverback SRS with one magazine. One creased owner's manual. Those motherfuckers. Cliche Allen keys. Genuine Silverback lubricant. A Silverback patch. A baggie of miscellaneous spare parts and o-rings. This 16 inch covert came with a muzzle device. The cylinder, bolt handle, piston, spring and spring guide are not installed, but it is very easy to do. So, you can easily find the information online about what changed from the previous models, but I will show you a few things. My friend let me borrow his A1 for this video so I can compare it to the A2. First, let's weigh them. I don't know how accurate my bathroom scale is, but it says the A1 weighs a little over 7 pounds, and the A2 weighs a little less than 6 pounds. I will tell you that when you hold them, you can definitely notice a weight difference. Personally, I like that the A2 weighs a little less, mainly because I will mount my cameras and power banks on it, so a little weight saving is nice. However, I see guys on the forums bitch about how heavy the SRS is all the time. They weigh more than other airsoft sniper rifles because of the high build quality. I love my VSR 10s, don't get me wrong, but they don't feel as sturdy as an SRS out of the box. Anyway, let's move on. One of my first thoughts was that orange tip has to go, so I removed it. A little bit of heat made it easier. The barrel comes with 14mm negative threads which is very convenient, so I threw on a Novart suppressor that I had laying around. Here we have both the A1 and the A2, both FDE 16 inch coverts. Only difference besides the new generation updates is that my A2 is left handed, but let's compare. A lot of the differences reflect on the weight difference. The A1 has a full length rail on top, the A2 is only a section in the middle. The A1 has a standard handguard with removable Picatinny rails. The A2 has the favorable M-Lock handguard and some extra porting further back. It's hard to see, but if you look close, the A2 also comes with a fluted outer barrel, whereas the A1 does not. The triggers are different. I actually like the A1 trigger more, CNC skeletonized look, whereas the A2 is a straight blade style and appears to be polymer. The A1 has a monopod that's pretty useless, but a neat feature. However, I think Silverback realized it wasn't sought after so they removed it on the A2 with the option to add if desired. Those are all of the obvious production changes. There's a lot more that I won't bother getting into. Unfortunately, I did not record a shooting test either. Right after recording the clips for this video, I ripped my A2 apart and installed all of my upgrade parts. Now both of these are pretty much fully upgraded internally. My friend's A1 has a stock piston with mouse fart air brake head. Rapax Regional Spring, PDI 605 Inner Barrel with an HS5 R Hop patch and faceless bucking, and of course the fast top chamber. My A2 has the same fast top chamber and faceless bucking, but I have a 601 PDI Inner Barrel and 60 degree faceless R Hop patch. In the SRS world, it seems forbidden if you don't run a 605, but in reality, it doesn't really make a difference. I also have a Rapax Hulk Spring and went with an edgy SAP piston. I was lucky enough to snag a Chameleon Edition. The special finish is really a waste of money because no one sees it. But just so you know, the guy on the Blind Sniper YouTube channel has a Chameleon Edgy Piston in his SRS. I also couldn't help but purchase the Edgy Spiral Cylinder and Bolt Handle. They are just so goddamn beautiful. My favorite part? Edgy engraved my YouTube channel name on the cylinder. So yeah, I mean, that wraps up this basic video. I'm a huge SRS new, but I'm super excited to hit the field with a new platform. Make sure to subscribe to see future SRS gameplay videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Oh, just again, I want to mention, I can't believe that Silverback had the audacity to crease my owner's manual. Very unprofessional. Ooh, 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 ooh.